Hides Lewis Turner. He begins our team coverage again in St. Augustine. And Lou, we have one more high tide of concern to get through this morning. And and you know what? I think the concern is is limited. I, I certainly will be watching, but compared to what we had yesterday, it was a very slow tidal cycle. Uh, three straight days of northeast winds and uh, those conditions that that large fetch we were talking about from Nicole uh, really piling up and trapping tidal cycles. So it was a slow tidal cycle that um, led to some issues with drainage. But now uh, here in the ancient city, St. Augustine at the city marina, uh, I, I do want to illustrate. You'll notice all the boats behind me, including the the old pirate ship and uh, it's doing fine. No damage, so according to uh, the uh, city marina manager, uh, doing a okay. The harbor master says no boats, uh, no uh, damage to the dock, no issues there, which is fantastic. It's tales of hurricanes past. So you think uh, the the improvements they made here at this uh, marina from after hurricanes Matthew and Irma uh, with uh, something called the breakwater dock, which is on what would be the north side of the uh, of the uh, uh, marina. Uh, it helps uh, prevent all the damage from uh, surge to the boats, and it really held up. It, I mean, it really did. We had some hairy moments there with the t high tide, but things uh, looking spectacular here at the marina. Now, I am watching Bridge of Lions. I'm just going to say anecdotally, just from experience, and we have seen river traffic. Haven't seen the Bridge of Lions go up and down, so we know it's open to road traffic. Is it open to uh, river traffic and, and marine traffic? We'll get that uh, question answered for you, but so far we haven't seen any lights, the traffic lights and signals, etc. So um, it's a question worth asking asking if uh, marine traffic is able to get up and under that bridge just yet and hopefully we'll get that answered for you very very quickly. Let's get